Hey everyone, welcome to Path to Nowhere. So we're here with EMP's build, how to really maximize her and what to prioritize in her build. Okay, so we're going to be starting off with her skill priority, namely 1, 2, 3, 4 in that order. Okay, so one would be of course her ultimate her ultra em arrow this baby packs a punch this is probably her core in which why we love her so much she packs a punch with this skill the damage is big and also she breaks cores okay so number one would be her ultra em arrow number two guys um, some of you might, you know, be asking why it's going to be double arrow because this also supports her ultimate. So the charge of the ultra EM arrow is refreshed when it scores a kill. The effect has a 42% cooldown at this point and it goes down. So it quickens the, the, the refresh or the cooldown. So which supports again how quick she can use her ultra em arrow um if you've noticed that you've had a couple of times um a, a automatic reload of her ultimate so again both of these the ultra em arrow and the double arrow come hand in hand so ultra first double arrow second the next one guys is going to be um kind of i'm kind of split with the two uh, whether who's going to be third on the priority but I'm going to go with electric arrow this time for her basic attack so again the first two hits are 142 and the third hit she shoots two arrows in a row each dealing 94 damage 94% damage um, this is based on your current level of three. So it, it increases as you level up the skill. So third priority is electric arrow. And the last, of course, is going to be your hyper charge. Um, it's an attack bonus that can last for the whole battle. So again, the increase is small. As you can see, it's an only an increment of 0.1 per level. So not really... It's, it's good to have, but not really that important to level up because of the increments as you level it up. So again, go with Ultra, EM Arrow, Double Arrow, Electric Arrow, and Hypercharge for the skill priority. Okay, so moving on to her Crime Brand, guys. Um, her Crime Brand, the one that I'm using right now, we don't have something you know something uh sufficient for to boost up her crit anyway crit damage um it's actually crit and crit damage is uh, the pluses are usually given to the basic attack anyway so at this point if it's not going to be dream uh east side dream the other option would be this one. Providence 3. You can equip this 2 and 3 slots. So this is increasing the crit rate and attack percentage. But at this point, um, I'd rather have these set. The East Side Dream 1 because of the normal attack damage of plus 15%. This is an addition to what she has now. Um, for her normal attack and this would kind of um, complement her ultimate when you give more damage to her normal attack so this is a big um, plus already this is a plus 15 percent so i usually i also give this to um if i can recall nox to give her more of a big damage for her normal attack and also you could give this to EMP for her crime brand. Okay, guys, so for her deployment role, EMP is up here on top. She her role would be as similar, but not really entirely similar to Langley. So both of them have uh, a lot of range, as you can see here. So it 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 kind of has the full limit of the field 
also with Langley. So most of you guys are actually using EMP um, before you get Langley. You could actually use both of them. They will both act, especially for um, what they call this for EMP. She will act as your core breaker because of um, she can use her ultimate in sequence. She can core she can core break two um, enemies in sequence or one enemy and core break um, two times with that enemy. So again, she will be your her role will be at the back, of course. Uh, and her role is to pick off enemies coming forward, core breaking as soon as they come, you know, within this area here. So, and also being able to wither down enemies coming forward and probably for the front, your front line to pick them off. So again, um, if you also have her ultimate at a high level, she also deals a lot of damage uh, in terms of bosses. So again, guys, um, very big damage for ultimate. Uh, very good for single target enemies that you encounter as well. Okay, so for EMP Shackle, I don't think you guys have a problem getting copies of her. So as you go along, um, all of them are very important, especially for four. The ultimate energy consumption is reduced by three. So that she could spam her ultimate um, as frequently as, as she can. And also the crit damage is increased by 10. And also 10 here. And um, the ultra EM arrow also has a crit hit. So these are most likely going to be easy for you to build up. Um, if you go up to 4, number 5 is not really that important. But again you will be able to get a lot of copies of her. So I don't think you'll have a, a difficult time um, completing all of the shackles one to five. Okay, so is she worth it for phase three? Let us take a look at her crime brand here. So if you take her up to phase three, so crit damage is a plus 120, the maximum number of ultra EM arrows refreshes when it kills an enemy is increased from one to two. So the refresh is going to be doubled. Sorry. Um, yeah. The number of the maximum number of EM arrows refreshes from one to two. Correct. So again, she just uh, the, the, there's no there, there is not a you know, it's it's not difficult to understand what she gives once you unlock her phase three. Um, she gives you a lot more damage, a lot more hits. But the question is, are you willing to take her up to phase three? Um, if you have Langley, probably after Langley, you could level her up to phase three. Again, um, especially for me, I have Langley already. I'm going to put EMP in the second batch of, uh, of sinners that I want to put up to phase three. But again, in terms of the core that I have, I don't think I'm going to be putting up, putting her up to phase three. Unless if you guys don't have Langley, she is a very, very good target for phase three. That is actually the only condition that I see at this point. Um, they're similar in a way, but not, you know, not entirely. So again, it would be up to you whether you have Langley or not. Most likely, if you don't have Langley, you'll be putting her up to phase three. So that is it, guys. That is for um, EMP's build. And I will see you in the next one.